Brenda, I am so terrified about this scene. Hey, don't worry about it. Brenda, I, uh... It, it's really weird, but Chris is so not what I expected. What happened to, uh, Mr. Souter? Oh, well, I, uh... I had a really great time last night. Well, that before or after you dunked me up. Hey, look, really, I, I didn't mean to invade your territory. It's just... He's so smart, you know, genuinely interested in the things that I have to say. Oh, Andrea, that's great. Yeah, maybe it's because he's older, but he gets me in a different way than any of the kids at West Beverly do. Andrea. But the thing is, until last night, I didn't even realize I had these feelings for him at all. <laughs> Andrea, that's good, and I'm really happy for you. But uh, we do have a scene to do, and if you don't mind, I would like to run some lines. That's okay with you. Okay. Okay. I'm sick to death of your jealousy and resentment. I loved him so much that you said to hell with your career. Yes! You can lie to yourself, Dee Dee, but not me. You got married because you knew you were second rate. You got pregnant because Wayne was a ballet dancer, and that meant queer. He wasn't. Still afraid someone will think he is. You were terrified then. You had to prove he was a man. That's why you had Amelia. That's a lie. No, that's the truth. You saddled Wayne with a baby, and you blew his career. But now Amelia's all grown up, and she's a better dancer than you ever were, and you're jealous. You're certifiable. You'll use anything as an excuse. And what's that an excuse for? I'm trying to take away my child. I return the compliment. You are a liar. You're a user. You have been your whole life. Me, Michael, pretending to love him, and now Amelia? I'm better for her than you are. The hell you are. <gasps> not how we rehearsed the slap. Oh, no? You know damn well it wasn't. Well, I guess I just got too involved in my character. That is so lame. There was something else behind that slap, and you know it. Since memory work? Oh. And what is that memory based on? Oh, quick learner. I think you know, teacher's pet. This is perfect. I confide in you, share my feelings. Something I never do, and you completely turn on me. Yeah, well, who confided in who first? I said I was sorry, Brenda. I had no idea that he was interested in me as anything more than a pupil with stage fright. Yeah, well, now we know differently, don't we? Look, Brenda, you can't steal something from someone that they don't have in the first place. You know, all school year, I listened to you rattling on and on about your feelings for my brother. This has nothing to do with Brandon. You're right. It has to do with you and me. Not anymore. <laughs>